Hi guys, welcome to my very first live stream. Um, I'm very excited to be with you here live and I welcome your comments and questions in the comments section. Um, we're gonna be going through this beautiful jewelry box that I showed you on my short the other day. Um, I acquired the box from a client of mine, my best client really, um, and she got it from a friend of hers who is downsizing her mother's jewelry. Um, so this lady um, gave me a huge, huge box full of jewelry, um, which I only really had time to separate out. It was very tangled and in, in a huge mess. Um, so I took the time to separate it all out and put it in bags. Um, and then the next day she gave me the jewelry box. So today we're going to go through the jewelry box and then I'm going to show you a few items that I did um, pull out from the hat box that I think are worthy of showing you today. So first we're gonna start with the, um, the, all the necklaces. My dogs are barking like crazy in the background in case you hear that. Um, not sure why, of course, as soon as we start a video, um, they all have to bark insanely. So first up is this um, gold tone necklace, spring ring clasp, I love grandma. Let me get you into focus here. I love grandma, little red enamel heart with a gold center. Dogs are still barking. Um, I'm going to have to put some of these back here. Okay. Second, we've got, um, and if you guys, if you know any information, like if something looks super familiar to you and you're like, oh, this is this, please let me know. Write down anything um, you feel like I should know in the comments section. I absolutely appreciate any input that you have. Um, so this is a nice gold tone and pearl, probably faux pearl necklace. Um, sweet little thing. Again, I don't know much about the jewelry from the box today that we're going through because I'm basically going through it with you. Um, I only took the time to find matching pairs and, you know, separate the broken stuff and this and that. So next up, uh, this beautiful necklace. This is sort of a, um, like a gun metal, like a black metal, um, Lobster claw class, so not too old on the chain here, but a nice chain. And then this cool pendant kind of wrapped. Let me bring it up closer for you. Um, pretty neat. I don't know if it's glass or plastic or what, but there's that. All right, moving right along. We have, ooh, that's kind of nice. Um, that's the open work filigree heart has a little bit of dimension to it that's kind of neat i wonder if it had something that went right there i i don't know um chain looks a little basic spring ring nice though and then the last necklace that i have if i can get it i'm done here um, this is interesting as well. This is a silver chain for sure, just a, a snake chain. I think this is marked. Let's try to zoom in a little here. I see it, but I can't read it. Maybe it says made in Italy 925. I hope it does. Anyway, here's the pendant that came with it. Not sure what this is made out of in the middle here. The back is unusual. It looks like this is just, almost looks like this is a stick of gum. And that just says something, something China, I believe. I can't see today, guys. Anyway, there's that. Okay, so in the first, I have all these sections of the box on the top here. So I just put everything that was alike together. So I found these two items, and they do look alike. They're, I thought they were earrings at first, and then I realized I think they're parts to a necklace. And I think that this pearl is telling us this was like a, a triple strand, and then this was a triple strand. And notice they're actually two ends clasp 
ends. So I'm guessing these were part of a necklace. I don't know if this is jade or um, or just faux, but interesting. I don't think we found any part of a necklace either to go with that. Next up is this really sweet little pendant. This is Wedgwood, um, the china. They make the glasses and the the china and Wedgwood made in England right on the back here. This may be gold filled. I, I don't know. I can't see any mark. Oh, you know what? Maybe there is something right there, but I can't read it. So I'll get back to you on that. I'll do my homework on all these pieces and I'll, I'll clean this up a little bit. <laughs> All right, we have a nice little angel pin. Not a brooch because it doesn't have availability to wear as a necklace, but it has a halo and these nice rhinestones. This is um, fairly large sized pin. Nice back. Cool. My ring for the day. My other ring for the day. Um, we have a little cross pendant here. Not marked, looks a little dirty on the back, but there's that. Here is a pin with no pin. All set to go, but no pin on the back. I don't see a mark. Oh, wait, do I? No. Well, these are cute. Little pearl and bow, dangle, earrings. Not sure you can see those so far away. Silver tone, sweet. I don't know if they're real silver or not. These are so tiny, hard to get focus here. There you go. I like those. Some of these things are really small. Got a pair of earrings, gold tone, just kind of a stamped design in a teardrop shape wire back. Nice little. And then we've got these. These are kind of nice. At first I thought these were silver. I'm, I Jury's out, I don't know still. If they are, or and if these are lucite or plastic or glass, no mark. They just look worn out. <laughs> All right. These are some beautiful, beautiful earrings. Let's make sure we get these into focus. Um, these are screw backs, gold tone, kind of a stamp design on the top. Sorry about this focusing here. Um, and then we've got this really cool textured design on the bottom with some enameling and some rhinestone detail. And here is the other one. These are stunning. And these are, oh, we're going to have to fix that. Um, these are marked. I did notice a mark on here, and if you look closely, it does say Jomaz. Well, I'll have to make sure that this one stays together. But these, this, um, Jomaz is definitely a vintage designer. These could be worth something if they could stay together. Of course, this could have been the reason for giving me some of this stuff because some of it might not have been the best quality and her mom might not have wanted them for that reason. Um, these are actually very, very beautiful and I believe they are all in good condition. Triple Dangle Aurora Borealis Silver Tone Screw Back Marked Weiss. If we could see it on the cap there so hard to see some of these tiny ones um, but definitely marked weiss nice dangle nice sparkle these are awesome i 
And just in time for Easter, we have these cool little, almost like, I want to say like micro mosaic, but that's not really right. Um, they're like micro, micro rhinestones, micro beads, teeny tiny, um, put together in this really cute Easter egg form. I am looking for a mark. I don't see one, but these are really, really sweet. All the colors. I like those. Okay, and then we've got these pearl and rhinestone gold tone clip-ons. I did not see a mark on these either, but these are awesome. These are kind of like 80s, big and flashy, but classy. Um, I notice a little blemish on the pearl here, but also here. So I wonder if if there were something else attached to these, possibly dangling. I like these probably the most of everything in the whole box. Um, obviously, if you know me, all purple rose. I love anything purple. So look at these. Just look at the sparkle. They catch the light amazingly. Um, these are clip-on earrings. Yes, yes, yes. So you can wear these. Um, at first, I thought they were cufflinks, and I was like, wow, those are awesome cufflinks. But, like, who wears cufflinks these days? No, I'm going to wear these as earrings. Look at these amazing rhinestones. These are sweet. Okay, and then we've got just this beautiful little heart-shaped gold tone pendant. It's actually not that little, really. I mean, it's actually fairly large. Um, oh, might be marked on the back. It is, and I can't read it. Let me try to put it under my magnifier here real quick. MK something something CZ. So, no idea what that means. If you do, uh, please help me out. I don't know, but very, very pretty. And then right next to that, I also found this pendant, which may match the earrings, but probably not. Um, these are not rhinestones here. This is silver tone. Let's see if we can get that into focus better. There you go. So you can kind of see it's not rhinestone, but I did think that for for quite a few minutes and then I realized that it wasn't. There's the back of that. Interesting. And pretty. Okay. We did have some duds in here, you know, like the broken Jomaz, um, which I'll try to repair. But here is, I think this is a real gold necklace, guys. And look at this. I could not get this out. It's kind of upsetting. And there's another tangle tangle right there. So some of it, ah, I just, mm, I don't know what to do with. Okay. And then these, I showed you guys these in, I think, the St. Patrick's Day video. Um, but these were actually from this box. And I have just had the box and not had time to do anything with it yet. So I have already shown you these. These are uh, malachite. And I believe they're silver. I, th I do think they're marked. These are clip-ons as well. Um, oh, yeah, definitely marked in there. So we got 925 sterling and the natural stone. Super cool earrings and then we just have some sweet little pearl I think these are faux I mean leather they're not in the most beautiful shape here but they do match so I put those two together no backs on those you might like these pearl ones better uh, these are a little I think these are called rice pearls seed pearls maybe um i can't get these together right now there we go okay so these are sweet little dangles i think these are called rice pearls someone correct me if i'm wrong gold tone these are nice um and then 
I think I have the match to this one as well in the same um, little container here. But these are these are all together, not broken. And I do have the match to the other ones. And then there was just this beautiful, I think this is rose quartz. I have to test this still on my gem tester, but just a little like a, like a healing stone, I think people call these. And then, oh, you know what? This could be my close second for the best thing. I forgot about this. <laughs> um, this is an absolutely beautiful, I think this is a silver marked, and purple stone ring. We'll just slide that on. Um, got a cool setting. It's curved. I'm really trying with this focus here. There we go. Um, it's sort of inset into these like waves. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's really nice. Okay. I don't know what this piece is. Um, obviously, it's something religious. And here's the back. If anyone knows what this is, I, I think it goes this way. Um, please let me know. I really would love to know what, what to do with this. But this was in the box. along with a couple of these little angel pens, just a little blue rhinestone here. Actually, this could be, I guess, a necklace if you'd like. And then just a little angel pen with some wings there. I heard something fall. Okay, um, almost done with this top here. Um, a few flag pins. I'm not sure when these are from. This has more of a yellowish tone on the top. No mark on the back. And then this one is in the sealed bag, so I'm just going to leave it in there. Gold tone, gold tone. There was this tiny little picture <laughs> all cut out in this oval. I think this is Ricky Martin. Am I wrong? Um, I don't know. And it's so funny because... The story is this box came from this lady's mom who is probably in her upper 80s at this point. So if she had a crush on Ricky Martin, which is who I think this is, so did I. Um, and then I found out, you know, that he was gay. So I was like, all right, well, I guess nothing's going to happen there with me and Ricky. Um, <laughs> that was a long time ago. I was probably like 15. Um, moving right along. And I got a man. Um this is an awesome pendant. This is silver on the back and silver on the bale. And then they put this lucite or glass or plastic on top. And this is faceted, as you can see. And then this just shines through with the silver design. Super neat. I love that. And then we've got this. I think this is red jade, maybe, or nephrite or coral or carnelian, I don't really know. So when I say I know, I guess I don't really know. Um, which, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt because I am still learning this and that's why I'm asking you to kind of help me out with some of this stuff. So I'm not sure what this is, what this does. <laughs> and then the last thing on the top shelf is a green stone here. This is definitely um, cold to the touch. I don't know what this is, maybe peridot, it's very beautiful. Okay, so we've done the necklaces and we did the top um, container. And then this is the uh, first drawer in the box here. And then I can just kind of bring these up to you and hopefully they'll be into focus. So this is actually super long and on a tag here, Christopher and Banks, CJ Banks. I think that's like more of like a work, working people clothes store. Um, what am I trying to say? You know, people that have desk jobs and have to dress up kind of nice for work. I think that's what this store is. I've not been inside, obviously. Um, we have a tag for $22.95, marked down to $12.98, made in China, but this is cute. Um, big black owl belly and some cool faceted eyes 
silver tone owl on a long chain. And this brooch looks like it's seen some better days, missing some enamel here. Um, it is, though, upside down, and it's a Mark Trafari. Um, so it's kind of sad. The gold tone on the inside is pretty nice. That doesn't look damaged, um, but the enamel is sort of sad, and it is missing right there, but it is a Trafari. Um, and then we've got some earrings here. Oh, these are clip-ons. I don't, I don't know if maybe these are silver. They sort of look like maybe they might be tarnished silver. I'm not positive. Uh, and then we've got this also seen better days pendant. Not super into that. This is cool. I don't know if this is silver or not, but this is a quite a long necklace and it's got all these little butterfly dangles hanging throughout so i just like the noise it makes it's very long um it's really pretty it's kind of neat if you're a butterfly fan i got you covered all right speaking of long and super neat necklaces let's actually i'm going to move this away so you guys can really see this here look at the sparkle of these beads okay and this silver tone this is just wow um when i was looking at this i was like this is amazing like why is this in this box you know i i thought this was like your <laughs> junk jewelry kind of not not that she said that but um i guess the mom has a lot a lot of jewelry and this is just stuff she didn't really want anymore so i was like wow i can't believe you wouldn't want this this is amazing look at this pendant this is um so this is figural this is this has some dimension to it it comes up off of the pendant if you can see that there um and the light shines through it and reflects off of it and it's a, a girl um if you can kind of see it's just so neat so there's the pendant and on the back, it says, Love Never Dies. This is a marked Kirk's Folly. Kirk's Folly is a vintage jewelry designer. I've watched videos about Kirk's Folly, and I said to myself, oh, I can't wait to find my first one. Well, it just came to me in this box. I, I'm amazed at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Hi. Wow. I, oh, I like this. You know, go from big to little. But this is like a really cute little sparkly pen. It's just got this one huge rhinestone and this one small one. And I guess you could just kind of wear that wherever. Anywhere you want a little sparkle and glam. Super cool. I like the setting too. It's kind of high. Reversed. Okay. This is a little bit sad here, too. This is a really cool earring. Um, gold tone, kind of textured swirl, and a pearl, and a beautiful Aurora Borealis bead. Um, just a little clip-on earring. And then here's the match. It needs the clip. Okay. So I'm going to have to find a clip, because these look like they're really nice quality. I didn't catch a mark on here, but... Um, they're really nice. And then you guys remember I said I got another hat box full of jewelry from the same lady the first day. Um, so these came in in the jewelry box. But the first day when she gave me the hat box, um, this was in a side. And I realized as I was going through the jewelry box that this matched so this is has a very interesting clasping situation here um it's it's got the hook and eye and it's got an extender but it also has these clasps so i guess so you could put it any way you want if you want it a little shorter um and it's all the same repeating beads it's very long it's super nice length look at that how long it is and it's on this gold chain which is just 
a really nice detail of quality. It's not on just string. It's on a chain. So it's going to last and the beads can freely move around um, and sparkle and shine. And, you know, you don't have to worry about it breaking. Oh, it's so nice. So this is definitely a set that goes with these earrings and I've got to find a back um, so I can put this back together and make it a real set. So it's beautiful. Okay. These are nice little pearl and rhinestones earrings. The pearl, ooh, definitely seen better days. Um, and this, these are sad to me also because these are also Mark Trafari. Um, boo, yeah, just not ideal back here with the pearl, but Trafari. But these ones are very nice. Um, this is a nice gold tone dangle. I think these again, I think these are called leverbacks. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I think these are faux pearls but these are very very nice very well made very classy i like those this is like the earrings drawer these are cool every bead in here is shaped like a flower on its own and then all the flower beads are put together to look like a flower isn't that cute and these are clip-on earrings. So these also have a little bit of a movement to them. They're all, you know, on their own. And then they're kind of put together in this fashion. So that's, I like these a lot. These are really super neat. Look at them from the side. Not marked. Um, not that I can see. I'll just kind of let you see how they are made underneath there. They're all like wired together. Pretty neat. And then we have some silver heart pierced earrings. I didn't see any marks on these. These are just very nice. They might be real silver. They might not, but they're very perfect for any day kind of jewelry. And we have these earrings. These are most likely faux pearl with the rhinestone and gold tone pierced back. Um, I didn't catch a mark on here. They do look a little older, maybe 80s. Not sure. I definitely like the look of them, though. Okay. And we are moving on to the second drawer here. Let me move some things around so you can see here. All right. So this drawer, we had all the kind of miscellaneous, like a hearing aid. Um, a lot of pins. I'm not sure what that is. And then we've got a tarnished silver necklace this is actually really nice like a herringbone i'm going to try to clean this um i got some of those cleaning cloths so i hope that they work on this because this one's pretty nice and then we've got this i think this is like a pocket watch situation it's missing a back um and it says Antica something Venezia on the inside. I don't know much about pocket watches or telling time in general, um, but it's on this nice silver tone chain. So there's that. There is nothing cool in the bag. I just put an extra key in there that was I found in the box. I'm going to give back to the lady. I like these. These are silver tone. Uh, they look like blue topaz. I don't think they really are i wish they were but they're not probably um these got these little comfort back on the clip on here um you can take those off you know if you don't like those but these are pretty nice actually you know really sparkly I like those and then the big one in the box this is beautiful too this maltese i think this is called the maltese cross um, in the in all sorts of shades of blue and Aurora Borealis here. And we've got the other um, clear rhinestones on this sort of like a rosary almost bead necklace. 
with the hook and eye clasp here on the top and then on the back this is marked Graziano, if you can see that on the top, Graziano. I believe they do make jewelry today still. I could be wrong about that. Um, and I think it's made for more like um, the stars. I, I think that's right. I think this is a little ball of coral, like from the ocean. <laughs> I don't think it goes to anything in this box. I just think it's in this box. Um, I don't, those might not go together. We have a couple random pearl earrings here. No, nope, those don't go together either. I think those are all just separates. And then we've got these little sweeties with one little rhinestone. These are kind of flat with a cool setting there. I don't know if these are marked underneath there. I will check later and get back to you. These look really nice, though. I like those. These are very similar, except this one is missing its rhinestone, unfortunately. That's the back of those. Got another little pen here. Oh, this is so, so cute. You guys, I love animals so much. This is a little cat with wings. Can you guys tell that? Oh, goodness. That is cute. Little kitty cat with wings. These are cute and interesting. These are like a stamped gold tone, very sparkly, um, pierced back, just a little stud, but a cool one, like a really neat, you know, kind of a statement stud. And let me try to read what that says. A O P A. I feel like I'm at the eye doctor. I don't know what that stands for. If anyone does, let me try to get it in really close here so you guys can read it. That's probably not helping. But if you can see anything there, give a girl a shout. Um, and then I think this is a Girl Scout pin. I think this is like the dove pin of the Girl Scouts, the friendship dove. I could be wrong, but I was a Girl Scout, so I think that looks familiar. And then this pin is the last pin in the drawer here. This is Syracuse Memorial Hospital, um, and it's marked 10K on the back. This is obviously from Syracuse Memorial Hospital, but when you look up Syracuse Memorial Hospital, it doesn't come up as a hospital anymore um and there's a whole story behind that and they have now merged and lost the name syracuse um but they are now called kraus um kraus hospital they were called kraus memorial hospital and then they dropped that as well so now it is called kraus hospital in syracuse so i'm guessing this pin does have some age to it and it is marked 10k all right and the last drawer of this beautiful box, here it is. I'll just do the quick overview here. Um, and now, I will say, there was a lot of these silica gel packets, and I do realize we it's best to keep jewelry dry, so not uncommon to see a lot of those kind of packets or little, like, satchels of drying agent, desiccating agent to keep um, jewelry dry. All right, this is a really cool pin. Um, lots of colors here, looks hand painted, maybe enameled. I'm not, I'm not sure the medium here, but this is really nice. Um, swirl design, obviously very glossy. Oh, signed on the back too, Inga. Not sure who Inga is, but Inga, I really like your colorway here. Beautiful. Here is a giant pendant, um, like a matte gold tone with some texture on it and these giant chunky rhinestones. That's pretty cool. Here's the back. Uh, there may be, no, I thought there was a mark on the bail, but I am wrong on that. But that's pretty neat. Put that on a gold chain. I like that. 
This is a silver pin. This is Mark 925. I'm not sure what that extra part says here. Let me get it on my... Um, 925. Does that say Charland? I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up again, but really cool, like a lightning bolt. I don't know, like a squiggle, I guess. Um, sterling silver pin. Beautiful. Nice and big, too. I should show you that on my hand. Almost my whole hand. This sweet little elephant is black onyx. And this part is all um, hand enameled. And a little rhinestone, this little gold tusk here. And then just a black back. Um, cold to the touch. Very, very uh, sweet little... Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Just on a silver chain or even a black cord, that would look awesome. And you know elephants bring good luck. And if you didn't know, now you know. Here is another silver pen. This is some open work, floral design. Uh, let's see if we have a mark. We do have a mark there. All these marks are so tiny, and I still didn't get my contacts, you guys. I don't know why. It's probably because my eye doctor, you have to pay to park there, which is so dumb. Okay, it says Sterling, Germany. So this is really nice. Sterling silver pin from Germany. Floral motif. And then this is like one of those cool little opera glasses. Mask. Uh, like a masquerade kind of look. Gold tone. And it's a rhinestone. That's a cute little design. And it's so easy to hold. Probably the first piece of jewelry I won't drop. Here's a stunner. This is a giant bejeweled butterfly brooch. Um, super nice. All the pastel colors for spring and butterfly, signs of spring and growth. And wow, just awesome. Here's the back on that. No mark, but very, 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 very pretty and big. All stones present. And you guys, if you're interested in any of this jewelry, um, just send me an email to purplerosecny at gmail.com. Let me know which piece you're interested in um, and make me an offer. I would love it if people would make me offers because a lot of times I don't know how much to charge. <laughs> so I can always decline your offer and you can always decline mine. Um, but yeah, reach out and we'll, we'll try to make a deal. Um, this is a cool articulating um, pendant here. I don't see a mark on this, but I like it. It is cold to the touch, all these stones. I'll test those later. And then we've got this. I don't know what this is. Um, is it a bug? Is it it's some like kind of flying something or other? is missing a rhinestone here but otherwise it's very sweet and it's i love the blue i love the blue and the pink together and there's the back not sure what what it is if you guys know let me know okay here's another one for the animal lovers <laughs> this is great this looks like a homemade somebody's kitty in this cute little frame, this is like all lacquered inside here um, and rhinestone blinged on the outside. It does have some dimension to it and it is signed on the back. Wayne? Where? I don't know. I can't even read this writing, but whatever it is, I think that's the owner and the cat's name. I'm going to pretend that that's what it is. So cute. <laughs> All right, I love this also. This is a cool black faceted, I'm not sure, glass. It's very cold. Um, and rhinestone. I think this is, I think we're going to call this a black fly maybe or a, or a bumblebee. 
gold tone and black. This is super nice. And then here's the back. I think this might be 1928. The backing looks similar. Correct me if I'm wrong. There you go. And then the last item in the jewelry box is this beautiful pen. Um, this has got to be some sort of celluloid material. The rose, it's carved. I mean, you can tell it's it's like hand carved. And then this is, um, I think this is gold filled. I believe there's a mark on the back here. Um, there is right here. And you know I can't see it. Something, something, GF. So, <laughs> again, I'll do my, my homework on some of these pieces. Um, if you guys didn't already tell me what they are in the comments. But that is beautiful. It's very light. Very light. So that's super nice. So, you guys, that's the whole jewelry box. I think there's there was a lot of good stuff in there. Not everything was great. Um, but again, I got it for free. I really don't know what I did to deserve this, but I did get it for free. Um, and then I want to show you just a couple other items that came in the other bag of jewelry that she gave me the first day. And in that, the first thing that I pulled out of it was this pendant on a silver chain here. This chain is marked on the spring ring. Um, it says 925 mex on it mex and then this pendant is kind of like a maltese cross in a silver tone and it's got some tiny tiny rhinestone up there and a cool design there and then on the back it is marked chapel sterling and i did look that up um and i apparently this sort of silver piece was made specifically for people um, in the, in the church. There we go. In the chapel. <laughs> okay. Now these were so exciting yet sort of sad at the same time. These are clip on earrings. I'll show you one at a time here. Um, it's like a teardrop. And then there's all these gold beads that are all kind of um, cha-cha, you know, style together. And then there's this tiny little, like a trembler wing going on over here. And it's a Miriam Haskell it's clip on earring. So I found the one and then we found the other one. And unfortunately they don't look the same. <laughs> um, one, this one is kind of floppy and this one has a wire sticking out. So I know Miriam Haskell did a lot with wire in her jewelry. I'm trying to show you these as best I can. Kind of like a cluster of grapes maybe um, with the leaves. Maybe that's what it's really supposed to be going for. But I can't figure out how to fix these and I've never attempted to fix jewelry. I don't know what they're supposed to really look like. I just know that they're Miriam Haskells and I never found any Miriam Haskells before these. Um, so I just wanted to show them to you. There was also this amazing pin. This is so beautiful. It's really big. Um, the whole hand here on this pin, gold tone, nice work on, on this pin. And this is a marked Monet one of the older ones, but not too old because it's all capital letters. And just a couple more here. Um, I, I couldn't believe it. I have found the one earring and I was like, oh, please, please let me find the match to these in this box because these are beautiful. All the stones are present pink green oh my gosh it's these are so beautiful for spring for any formal event any oh my gosh with a black dress let me get them in focus for you they're just amazing let me just try one there you go okay these are marked joan rivers pierced earrings joan rivers was a darn funny lady 
I know she offended a lot of people, but I laugh my butt off at her jokes, okay? And her jewelry is beautiful and was affordable. Um, and I used to watch a lot, a lot of QVC when I was growing up, you know, before there was cell phones and stuff. And I would just watch the rings spin. And I used to watch Joan and her, like, convertible jewelry. And I am just so happy to have even just these, you know, these are really pretty. Okay. Let's see, which way does this go? Beautiful brooch here. Um, sort of a really cool design into the metal. You have shiny, you have matte with a stamp. You have like this almost like a strawberry seed kind of look to it. And uh, kind of a sunburst design. Super neat brooch. Mark Trafari. Beautiful. Really, really, really nice quality. Super nice. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this. Okay. Remember the other ring that had the curved from the box? The purple? Let me see if I can find it. Well, then there was this. This was in, so she gave me two different things, but one was in one and one was in the other. So this is more of like, I think it's a smoky quartz or maybe it's a citrine. I'm trying to find that other ring, you guys. I'm just going to show you both. Here we go. So same design, um, just kind of the smaller version in purple and then the large. So that's awesome. Look at them together. I can't put them on the same, you know. Really, really nice. And then we're going to end it with this one plus one more. Um, this is Mark Taxco Mexico. Nice, nice bracelet, silver bracelet. You pop the clasp by pushing down. There's a safety chain right there to hold it together. Um, there's the mark right in there, the 925, the Taxco Mexico. This is kind of cool. And then you just push um, push this in. I'm sorry, I can't see while, what I'm doing. Um, you push it into the bottom, and it just sort of hinges back together. So this is a cool design, a really neat design. So there's that. And the last one is this beautiful pendant, silver. Flip this over, and we've got sterling and king. I'm pretty sure this is real turquoise, obviously, Real sterling silver. Super nice little pendant. So you guys, there's so much here and there's so much more. I really appreciate you joining me for my first live stream. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and like and share the video. And I forgot, I was going to show you one more thing. I can't believe I almost forgot, you guys. Because I got used to being like, oh, please subscribe and like and share and all this other stuff that I have to remember being a YouTuber now. <laughs> this is a, okay, you guys. I took this out of the jewelry box and I was like, um, I don't think she meant to give this to me. I asked her about it. She said after a, a day of thinking about it that I could keep these items and she didn't want anything for them. She just really wanted to get rid of them. So I cannot believe that I did not, uh, that I didn't think to show you this all the way until the end and that I almost forgot. So look at this, look at this, look at this, you guys. Okay. They're going to roll all over, but I want to show you the box here. Okay. It says blue lagoon cultured pearls by Mickey Moto. I see a pearl necklace, I see a pearl bracelet, and I see matching pearl earrings. Um, I have not gotten these authenticated yet, but here's the clasp. This clasp is marked under here. I'm so afraid to like touch these. Um, I should be probably wearing gloves, but I don't have any at the moment handy there is a mark right there i'm going to look at it it says 14k something else <laughs> i can't find any mark on the earrings and then on the bracelet here 
there is also a mark on the clasp and it is so faint and I'll never be able to get it into focus. Um, but I will read that. There it is. And I will get back to you about these Mickey Moto pearls. I have seen sets of these online selling um, in in the thousand dollar range with with if it was real, if these are all real, and if these are all Mickey Moto. Um, so I can't believe that I acquired all of this jewelry. And again, thank you for sharing all of uh, your time with me. And I appreciate all of your comments and. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye, guys.